World Championships and uh, he just needs to score a little bit better than he has been doing. Well, he's up against uh, Co Stompy. Stompy loving life on the Golden Mile. To be honest, I think this competition in Blackpool, the venue is so great, you know, that gives it a little bit extra over the World Championships and all the other ones. Um, so I always enjoy myself up here. Cole's a great guy. Um, um, I've known him for a few years now because obviously I play in the BDO with him. I've had a, a many a battle with him over, you know, over my time in darts, and I, you know tonight's going to be no different. It's going to be a tough game. Playing Mark Webster isn't easy. He's, he holds a very good record against me, and um, he always seems to play well when he's playing me. So that's got to be a bit tough. I know I, I only know Mark when I watch him play in other games as a slow starter, but. Every time when he plays me, he's always right there. It's like in the World Championships a couple of months ago. It's the same thing. He went 4 0 up in sets. I uh, pushed it back to 4 3, and then he had another brilliant set. But um, I know what I can expect, and I know what I need to do, so uh, I'll be ready for it. When me and Cole played in the Worlds, it was, you know, it was all going my way. I was, think I was four, maybe, I think three or four 0 up, and he came back at me, so I know that you know, he's not going to give up until the final double goes in. So I'm in for the big fight tonight. I think he is. It's going to be another one, I think, that could go the distance or beyond. Our MC is John McDonald. Thank you, and welcome back to the action where we are live at the Winter Gardens, Blackpool! Welcome to the StanJames.com World Match Play, brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. We are live on Sky Sports HD. Time now to meet the players. Time to meet the former champion of the world. He's a very likeable character, isn't he, Coach Stompy? Yeah, he's been around a long time as well. He's used to this big stage. He's played for Holland many times, and he's, he's actually beaten Phil Taylor on a big stage in Germany. So uh, he has. And as I said, Mark is still getting used to this side of, of the game. And uh, Coach Stompy, in his first game, scored a lot of high scores, the 180s, and that's where Mark's got to hang on to his coattails. Coach Stompy does your job on, on Dutch telly, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, hopefully he's a better pundit than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, what about the, 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 how tight this could be? Because very, very similar players, yep. very, very similar standard, and both with a lot at stake, both looking for a quarter-final place for the first time. Yeah, an, a, an awful lot at stake. And as you said, this could go all the way or even beyond. I mean, they are... If you look at the form of both these players, you look at the stats, there is really nothing to split them and uh, perhaps Co may edge it a little bit more experience and a little bit more form than Mark but uh, it's one I certainly wouldn't put my money on Dave. Okay let's hand over to commentary Nigel Pearson, Sid Riddell. Well pick it up on our pundit Rod. Yeah that was a 4-2 win in Germany in 2008 against Taylor by Gour with 107 average. 
for this lad, former oh. Lakeside champion, 2008. Cole to the board now. He's more Johan Cruyff than Van Bommel. 82. Won't see any clog from him, but we might see a lot of finesse. Welshman might well be nervous early doors, but as Rod again pointed out, with the PDC lads, unlike Lakeside, this is a tougher school. And he seems to be gaining confidence every time he attacks the flock. 60. Yep, well, uh, Coach Stompy hit eight 180s in his victory over Andy Hamilton. This man had a decent world championships, didn't he, at the Alexandra Palace? Got into the third and fourth place oh, playoff. He beat Bali in that to claim third place in the world championships. And this, a tough one to predict, very much so, as Rod Harrington said. It uh, could yeah. go the distance and even further. Well, look out particularly on his treble lineings, uh, Nigel, in the game against Kirk Shepard of those championships. 32 treble lineings in one game. He was on green fire. Inconsistent performance from Stompy and his win over Hamilton. 12 10 the score there. He won the Las Vegas Players Championship three weeks or so ago. 12. And Webster now looking for tops uh, for. The first leg of the match. 48. Yeah, Co. Uh, 4 2 down, put five on the trot, past a very hesitant Hamilton. Well, me and Eric Bristow thought Hamilton might be a star five. this week. So it's what I know. Double 10. Mile off, slightly snatchy delivery. To the awkward, it's betwixt them between, maybe. No score. That second line was neither Ball duck nor drake. Chance to break the throw. Lovely start for Stompy. Double 18 coming in. Oh, yeah, delightful so finishing there. from Coach Stompy. Perfect at the double. His first opportunity and he takes it perfectly. Breaks the throw as well, which is significant in the very first leg of the game. Well, the famous Dutch College swing jazz band used to have a number called Stompin in the Savoy. This is Stompin in the Winter Gardens. Match play debut 98. for Mark Webster from Denby in Wales. Plenty of support for him here tonight, just like there was for Barry Bates against Phil Taylor. In that excellent match last night. Look at that for a second out. That's brilliant. Leads me to the general point. Ten years ago, that would have been four Welshmen at this stage, maybe, or four Scots. Now, four Dutchmen. Joran Jarmy on the charge. They like the ambience. They're in Blackpool. Lovely recovery for Mark Webster there as well. He's going to switch down the board now, Stompy. It's a 99. much better start to the game for Co Stompy, 47 years old now. And, uh, well, a clash of two players who have met many times down the years. Lovely dart. Uh, didn't use it well, should have been at least clipping the side of it, 100. like he did with that one. Should have had the air. Has to come down nice, and you have a nice little two dart out on the cards now. Pressure on Stompy on this big one. Now, what can Stompy do here, sat on 124? He can go trouble 18 bull. Bullseye for a 2 0 lead. This will be spectacular. Good half an inch away, out of the way. Mark right, the 08 Lakeside World Champ. It's again parity, double 12. Again, he's got to watch the flight come south. Yeah, oh! He, he drove! Mark he made light around of me. Put in the extra Mark power rather Mark than the high arc. See how near the line I do went. First two legs go against the throw. Is that a sign of things to come? And Webster looking for his first 180 of the tournament. Well, Kirk, what a finalist here. 2009, lost to Taylor. Before that, he Andy Jenks, Taban, and Mardle. Well, I think he's shaking the nerves out quick, he's shaking the sillies out. Yeah, because it's one they've been a world champion with that other camp. But yeah. The tents are taller, and the lances are longer, and the money's bigger. 100.
Here's the throw of Co Stompy. It's a nice tidy start to this game from both players. Wayne Jones, the first player into the quarterfinals of the StanJames.com World Match Play here in Blackpool with that victory over Ronnie Baxter first up. Who will go through to meet Alan Tabern or Raymond Van Barneveld? That's the prize awaiting the winner of this game. 140. Mark to require 90. Ball's possible, first dart. No, beautiful. Topsy wants for the lead. Middle of the bench. Nigel Davis, Paul Ethan surprises. Romania could be getting out of here Neymar. after midnight. Yep, could be a long old night because we've got evenly matched contests all the way through. It's a nice start to the game from both players. The averages speak for themselves. Yeah, Thailand. They set a new tournament record uh, last seven. night, 115. Pushed it up from 113.5 in 1996 against Mawson. This is a brilliant standard. Oh, look, you're on the flight there. 100. Big game for both players in the context of their career, isn't it? Massive tournament. We've said many times this week over the last few days. Apart from the World Championships, this is the 100. one they all want to win. It's a favourite of many, many players here in Blackpool. I just imagine Kerr, uh, being Tiller, could be as back uh, in the IDL. That's a massive tournament in National Darts League 07. 139. The Welshman was runner up to Gary Anderson, who we've seen flowering for Scotland here. Yeah. Some talent in this place, Nigel. 140. Call you require 127. Well, now Stompy to try and level the match. There's no need to go for it if he doesn't want to. Ah, he's got it, and he's got it! Brady! First number! Oh, they're all bullying bushes, they say, of Amsterdam! Men in the pippin! Webster went 2 1 up with a 91 finish. 95. Stompy takes bullseye for a 2 all. Spectacular start to the game. Yeah, beat uh, an unimpressive Edwin Lewis, the Welshman. Who's a trained plumber? Has lagged a few flanges in his time. Fully 31. qualified City and Guilds. But now, more interested in tungsten than lead gutter and all piping. The atmosphere there, piping hot. It's come out cracking the flags, Nigel Blackpool today. Not just outside. Webster can't find a treble. He can now. Tidy recovery down the board. 99. Needed the treble 19 there though. And Stompy with a decent ton 40 here. Could well put the pressure on Webster for a oh. break of throw. Two in. Could this be the first maximum of the match? One. There's the answer. Stompy with a 180. And he's putting Webster under severe pressure here. Long time stars with the opposite camp, the BDO. Semi finalist at Lakeside 99. was Cole. Backstepping him. But he had beaten Andy Smith. And Urban King before that, he's been in some top rooks in his darting career, this Dutchman. 63. Very neat. Mark this would be sensational. Stompy sat on 61. Webster looking to set himself 97. up. Should he get the opportunity? Call you require 61. Here you go then, for the lead at the break. Delaney! Oh, perfect dog! He's over in the weight of his dogs. Lovely, jubbly. Lot of orange in the crowd. The spirit of Johan Cruyff here at Tungsten Central. Delight for this crowd here. Four Dutch lads still in the Tony, and this one going like Iron Robin 100. down the wing on a motor scooter. Welshman, uh, cerebral, former world champ in the Red Bits. Still looking for his first 180 of the tournament, Mark Webster. Stumpy, who always seems to have a smile on his face. Playing beautifully, both players in the zone right from the start of this game, as the averages suggest. But Stompy, you know, 
started off against Hamilton. I, I commentated on that game and he was full of smiles and having a laugh and put a banter with the crowd. But I'll tell you 26. what, later in that game, he was deadly, deadly serious. He's been deadly serious for 12 years when he was driving a trolley around Amsterdam. He's clanging different trolleys now. There's a few Darden Eagles as well. The Welshman, very, very highly strung lad. A lovely cover shot that night. Stompy in control of this leg. And the treble 18 is working beautifully for him, isn't it? If he got another treble 18, he would have got uh, double eight to go for. Well, to do that with such a lobbying style is very clever. When the made of talking about the curved ball in baseball, he's using the curved dot. Tops he wants. Two in the lead. He's finishing, he's excellent. He's only missed one shot at a double so far, Co Stompy. And uh, we've seen games in this tournament where it's been a slow start from both players, but not this one. It's been a nice tidy professional start from both players and you get the feeling they can still even step it up a level from here Sid yeah and uh, Nigel of course Abby it's come from the West Midlands where they have the Grand Slammer darts and uh, this lad got to the quarters and that see sometimes gets a little bit uptight but maybe he'll unwind he said his course seems to be like happy the jungle enjoying himself would be surprised to find him down on the prom, throwing darts for teddy bears. Playing cards. There's my fan club. <laughs> what else? Wags from Cumbria. 60. How am I going to get this lipstick off? They obviously hey. like. Uh, they obviously like the mature gentleman, Sid. Yeah, they came to celebrate 60. his 60th birthday. How many? Oh, oh, oh. Terrific. Love it. Yes, oh. and uh, just going back to Wayne Jones earlier, I hope he gets 44. the credit he deserves back in Wolverhampton as well. I'll certainly be doing my bit, bringing the local newspaper in the morning, hoping that he can uh, get some publicity locally in the Wolverhampton area. Here's Co Stompy. Oh. With his second 180 of the match and his 10th of the tournament so far. Well, he showed the weight, just got the weight perfect with those two trebles earlier. Across the bottom of the 18s, he's got Gordon the weight. It's a, it's a lighter throw, very flexible in the wrist. But wow, again, magic. Magic, that's where the Dutchman. He's playing beautifully. He's just playing that level above Mark Webster at the moment. Although Webster, you know, has hit five ton forties as opposed 56. to Stompy's one. But Stompy's finishing has been superb. Topsy needs for a 5 2 lead and a third break of throw. He's just got to come down slightly. Big shot coming in for Co Stompy. 101.4 average. Co stands for coasting at the moment. Country of only about 15 and a half million, right? That's about. We've got about 62 million. Where's Newton and Grace the Tony? First round loser. Oh, this is a bag of nails. So to say, 15 million people tonight. Not bad to get four people here at this stage of this tournament. Brilliant. Terrific crowd as well tonight. Really enjoying the darts. Look at the adjustment. The adjustment of the 60 and the treble 18 has been superb. 70. The Tungsten Meister. They say round Utrecht. When he is missing, it's the width of the wire. Nice lie. 60. But Stompy can't take his foot off the gas because against Hamilton, when he was in the groove and seemingly cruising, the Gremlins would strike. Webster looking for his first 180 of the match, and it's his first of the match play. Here he goes then. Yeah. Treble 17 and the bull. Oh! Bullseye! 136. Terrific effort. What a game we've got here.
thoroughly enjoyable. Proper darts match this. Absolutely superb. Stopping now, sat on 25 for a 6-2 advantage. First to 13, remember. He's going double 12 here now. Oh, this is going to be slivering, slivering. Oh! Didn't even use the light night. How confident is that? Most people would try to bump in. Would have tried a fender bender. Tried an air shot. Was successful. He's won four legs on the bounce. It was two apiece. Stumpy has broken well clear now. Webster under pressure to hold his throw to stay in the match here. Five on the trot 59. against last opponent. Stumpy. 96. What a... Looks as though he's enjoying himself. Comes for cover. Milo here. 96. Nice recovery. Seems to have an extremely confident save a dart at the right times now. Just wonder if it's starting oh, wow. to get to Webster now. Three poor darts there. Pressure might just be getting to him. That's a great first dart from Stompy. Far more consistent in this match than he was against Andy Hamilton. That was a 12-10 win that he had to claw out there. But he's uh, the better player in this match. And Webster's all at sea here in Blackpool. Good way of putting it, Nige. 85. Was this boy is in the middle of the canal with his hula going, saying, let me through. Coming through, or Dutch equivalent. Lovely adjustment yet again. He's confident, isn't he? Co Stompy is switching beautifully. And another break of throw here. And it's hard to see a way back for Webster, but we've seen some terrific comebacks Only in the five. match play this year. We remember Kevin Painter against Colin Lloyd last night. Did we ever? A two down. And then won it. His mum and dad were like. Fred is there in Ginger Rogers. Mark required 136. Brilliant. To start the recovery. Double eight. Oh. That would have been a spectacular 136 finish. Oh, Double 10 for 20. a fourth break of throw. There's the target. This will hurt Webster if Stompy can take it out. His finishing's been decent so far. Big shot for Co Stompy. Gets it. Seven out of 13. Attempts at the double, 54%. It's four breaks of throw against one. And now it's seven legs to two. And Co Stompy appearing at the moment to be in cruise control. Well, I'll bet you when he was a tram driver all them years ago, he missed half the stops, even though there was grandmas and pushchairs there. He just wants to get to the terminus. And to tell you, can't crack up Webster enough. The World Championship 2010 beat Manley, Shepard, and Stompy. Took Taylor to stop him. 60. Former Lakeside champ 2008. Being taken to the Dutch cleaners, yeah. And even when Stompy 84. only hits a 60, Webster can't take advantage. It's uh, really a tall order now for Mark Webster. Stompy knows he's only got to just can maintain 82. his composure. And uh, Webster with a lot of work ahead of him. Just one break of throw for him, four for Co Stompy. And that's a lovely 10-40. Think think any young dart has, I know that sounds a bit like uh, open university time, should take a look at the way he weighs the dart. It's fast, it involves a lot of lower muscle below the elbow. But compared to this, like you see, the dart, the, the, the bridge, the wrist just cocks. But watch Stompy's wind up. That's a lovely recovery, but he couldn't follow it up. That's why he just held, hung his head at the end of those three darts. 59. But uh, Webster still in with a shout now. 109. Whoa. Oh dear. Bad shot. Can't go on now. Stompy won Shanghai. The Dutch, first one of the East Indies, places 13. like Shanghai, about 1723. Call you require 120. They sailed in no bother. 
60. Still a chance to make the shot. That's the dip. Quarter of an inch. Brilliant. Tops for 8 2. 100. Now, the way Webster's been playing, you wouldn't fancy him here, but. Trouble 17 tops he can go for. He's not going to get it. He oh. knows what that means. And double 10 for Stompy to go 8 2 ahead. Double five for 8 2. Now he's just dipped this without touching. Ten oh! A smidgen over the wire. Wow. Chance for Webster that he didn't think he'd have. Should get this now. Should get it. That's a break of throw back for Mark Webster. So, the Dutchman doing a try at that moment on the Welsh former world champion. We'll be back with what else wags and lots more terrific tungsten. It was a terrific onslaught from this man, Co Stompy, from two apiece to go 6-2 ahead, 7-3 now. And uh, he knows that he's still got a bit of work to do to see off Mark Webster. It is amazing how what goes around comes around. Gary Anderson watching about 10 feet from me and Nige beat the Welshman in the IDL at the International Dance League. 39 in 07. Well, at the minute, he's like Cotton Eye Jew in a pair of new boots. Stomping in the Winter Gardens, which in fact once hosted the All England Tango Dancing Championships many years back. They are chucking in what used to be the richest dance hall in the north of England. Well, that was an interesting switch on the last dart for Stompy. Took us all by surprise as Webster goes down the board. And was effective with the second dart. Oh, it it to final up, no, top of the shop. He's now looking to leave himself a comfortable finish. Go Stompy if Webster can't take this out now. Three dart here and a little trouble to start the combination. Slack, slack shot, should have been nearer given the lie. And that's a very end. slack shot as well. Right then, Call turn this into 80. a Dutch parade. Double 10, red it. That was a superb finish. Great darts from Co Stompy. He made it look so easy. And he's in that phase of the game now, like he was with Andy Hamilton the other night, where there's no smiles. There's no banter with the crowd right now. He's deadly, deadly serious with darts like these. I'm not going to get his third. 30. Well, Barney is in town, getting ready for the contest. He's been back up a couple of days R and R. What I like about this guy is, is the shape. It's like a ballet dancer. There's slightly more lift to the head than there should be on release. But amazing weight of the dart. 120. I love the arm action till he's ready. He's one of the nice guys, Stumpy, isn't he? Everywhere you see him, he's shaking people's hand, he's having a smile on his face, and he's playing beautifully here. 8 3 ahead, oh. five breaks of throw, and he's hitting that treble superbly. Is he ever 99? Watch this. That is. Perfect release. The intense hand Nine speed at the end of the throw, like Kevin Peterson's bat speed. He's going to stay up the board, Stumpy, now. Another one of those would be nice for him. 81. There's not an iota of self-doubt. All his corpuscles under control. The Welshmen are thin. Oh, you see? Body language of a rubber skeleton. Perfect start. Topsy needs. 
A raise of the eyebrows, it worked for him last time, but not this time, double ten. Webster needs a 1-5-3, it's not oh. happening for him. That's an extremely polite way of putting it, Nigel. Well, he's a great player, isn't he? And it's it's a shame when you see the, the world's top players struggling for any kind of form. 27. What? Call you required 20. That's the game to put the C in currently. Double 10 coming in for the Dutchman. That's not her line, it's an air shot. Game seven, see how company it was? Good night from the middle of the bed. He aimed for just smidge the wire. Two, that one exactly where Go intended. Stompy's been in the quarterfinals of the World Championships for two successive years and he's on the verge now of a place in the quarterfinals of the World Match Play. And Mark Webster is sick. Is 60. A parrot with hay fever. Well, the thing is, Sid, it's 7-3. Uh, at the break that we just had, Webster had the darts to close it to 7-4. But Stompy has destroyed him 67. with two superb legs, 9-3 ahead. So he's got the balance of a tango dancer. Beautifully balanced on the feet. And that arm, this fast, whippy, far through, is almost textbook. You can see he's reacting to every dart. Like, Four like a puppet with frame strings. One suffers for the Welshman match. He had a great world championship, Mark Webster, didn't he? And uh, gave himself great credit. Third in the world championship, beat Barnevelt in the third and fourth playoff. But uh, very, very fragmented 60. form here now. The body language suggests that he knows he's on his way home. But uh, we've said that more than once in this tournament about matches that have been brought back to life. Stompy has to hold his 60. concentration, stay focused. Well, I think also it is his shape and style are much are instinctive, particularly the way he waits. We see Andy Hamilton wait the dart, but it's much slower. It's as though he's coordinated from the back foot, through the stance foot, through the delivery. Lovely to watch. Another one there, son. 85. That'll do for him. And uh, Mark Webster with the darts, desperate to hold his throw here. Uh, John Lowe had a good phrase for this, bless him. 25. Throwing and hoping. Going it's cruel, night. But if it's going to fall over, it's going to for me to theorise on. Didn't expect this. Thought it'd go all the way this match. What did I say to you? 14 12. Absolutely, yeah. Just shows you anything can happen in this game. Stompy has played a lot better than he did against Andy Hamilton the other night, to be fair. He reached consistency right from the start of the match. 64. The other, the other night, uh, Stompy was 76. up and down and scraped through 12 10. And uh, Topsy needs for a sixth break of throw, and Topsy yeah, gets, he's three legs away from a place in the match play quarter-final. And if you only look at the top of the screen, you swear you had casters on those Gucci pumps. Flowing, he's speeding up, because he knows he's not going to blob. West, this lad doesn't know whether it's Pancake Tuesday or St. David's Day. Struggling, former world champion. Nowhere near the mark a lie. Easy. Oh. That sums it up for him, doesn't it? That's the story of his match in one dart. A good bump, a bad bump, and a lumber tungsten in the deck. 42. That's a plot night. Webster now surely looking to restore some pride, 55. but just can't find a treble, even when Stumpy. As a slack visit, Webster can't capitalise. That's brilliant. Lovely switch down the board. Well, look at his precision. That one. He put two in the treble line, he in bottom end, could have got eight more darts in. He's brilliant on the treble line. This one, this is sad. I've been watching games sometimes like this since 1977. 
He just wants to get off, and that's the biggest cliche in dance. Thirty-nine. Here we go then. Dutchman needs three more. One hundred. That's good from Webster. Call you require one hundred and sixty-four. Stompy in complete control. That's a lovely start. Will he go for treble eighteen, Bull? If he goes for treble eighteen here, he could have left double sixteen. Eighty-three. Has to pop down with some pressure. Yeah, got to get two trebles. Two big trebles needed. Again. I've got a big vocabulary, but you don't have to be thesaurus to know. That was Call desperation. 81. Bullseye for Stumpy for 11 3. Now, 45. can Webster get some consolation here and break Stumpy's throw? Right there, now we go. 33. He's been riveting on treble 20, treble 18, treble 19. What's double 18? Red bit. It's not a lie. Yeah, shot. Bold. Just the board. Nines. Snatch. Where's Doddy's thrown that? For once, the tension shows on that Dutchman. Tops for Webster. Surely he's got to get this. Yes, yes he does. Webster. It's a break of throw Webster. as well. 10 for the score. Surely too little, too late. But how many times have we said that in this tournament? Maybe, just maybe, he can get his act together, play to his maximum potential, and just make Stompy work that little bit harder. But not with darts like that, I'm afraid. You have 10 uh, days at uh, the Lakeside Bob Potter's Palace. He was the top man in 2008. He's the best to beat you on the offer. Uh, he's a very nervous lad, socially and in, in his game. Whereas Carl was big extrovert away from the hockey. Plays almost extrovert darts as well. 94. First to 30 in the winner. Uh, Carl at one stage over 102.5. Down in 90 yes. now. And maybe certain bits of the cerebral aspect of the game have affected uh, Carl thinks he might have added one match. Yeah, can't afford to let his concentration slip. Complacency can prove costly. That's more like it from Stompy. He's been fairly ruthless in this game so far. But uh, Webster just starting to up his performance slightly now. Placing the quarterfinals on the line to meet Alan Tabernor, Raymond Van Barneveld, which is the last game of tonight here in Blackpool. Wayne Jones, if you've just joined us already, the first man through to the quarterfinals after his hard fought 85. victory over Ronnie Baxter. Barney just popped back. Uh, Albert Dunwell Holland after his ninth daughter on Saturday the night here. Yeah. They'd shook the filigree foundations of the Winter Gardens. Dutchman with a chance here. Yeah. His go. It's like a de duck. Nice last start for Stompy. Webster a long way behind. It's going to go down the board now. 59. Call you require 91. Now, this would be something special for Stompy. He's going for the bullseye now. He's done this once before in the match. Has to be Taylor esque. Nearly was Taylor esque. Remember the great Taylor Mark shot? A couple of years back, the impossible shot. 20. Once the bullseye punt on two daughter. Oh! oh, yes! There is fire left in the dragon knife. Absolutely right. Bullseye gets 10 5. The scoreline here. Uh, Stompy got bullseye to go two apiece. Stompy still the hot, hot favourite to go through to the next round. But as it stands at the moment, he's still got a little bit of work to do. Has he ever? But there you go. Backstand a massive follow in the air with the Pro of the West Midlands. Jones won it. 39. This has been a story of tragedy so far for the Welshman. Stomp beyond fire, relaxed. But now, 
signs on the last two legs that there may be sting in the tail. Well, the story of this game so far between Co Stompy and Mark Webster. Stompy 10 5. It was two apiece early on, very tight. Stompy at the ball for two apiece, but then he rocketed forward to a 6 2 advantage. Four straight legs for Co Stompy. And it's only the last two legs that have been won by Webster that have pegged it back to some form of respectability. And now Stompy looking to finish the job set. Cover shot now by Kuhl. 137. A uh, new business like look on his faces. Member spent uh, 12 or so years on a tram shot. Fares, please. And you got a very hard look if you gave him a pile of mini gilders. Like taking notes. Take some notes if he gets further in this tournament. Brilliant, brilliant. Amazing. Adjustment to the red pit. Bear in mind when it's first to 13. Concentration is the key. It's hot on the stage. There's a 97. big crowd really enjoying themselves, and you have to stay focused over a longer period of time. Just lost the weight of the dart for the three yeah, legs now. before the. Uh, we showed you that wheel of uh, fortune. Uh, Welshman's really got to stay. He's got to ping that first dart better, and then it just signs of a Welsh. Rally night. Yeah, he's hit seven ton forties, which is two more than Stompy. And actually, Webster's Nine finishing six. is better than Stompy's as well in the percentage. Well, the Jordy Lip did say 14 12, but 64. I didn't say to who. Call you required 98. Right, beautiful. Two nines on the Y has to move left, a smidgen. 79. Well, he's frustrated Hardly with that. He wanted to kill it off there. That's a lovely start, chasing 122. Bullseye. He just did it last leg, and he's yeah. done it again. Yeah. Two balls on the trot. The O8 Lakeside Champ <laughs> from Denby. The plumber has put a pipe in the dike for now. Fourth break of throw for Webster. And if he can hold his throw here and go to 10 7, could it be on the comeback? The crowd was like the North Sea on a plangent summer day. 100. Now there's a susurration in them because they know as well as me and Nige that this lad, former world champ, can get. Could even win it. 10 3 up this man. Peg back to 10 6. Lovely ton 40. Still a bit of work to do for Co Stompy. Webster working hard, chipping away. Nice dart. He's playing well in this leg. Does he ever? Well, as you'd expect, defeat is not in Webster's dictionary. And that would have been going in ten minutes ago. The the resurgence of the Welshman has actually got through the cool Nige, I think. But if he takes this out, it will hurt Webster big time. He can go trouble 17 ball now. Not now he can't. And he's frustrated. And now Webster looking to check this out at 146 for his second ton plus checkout. Well, Cole did rush two darts there, but that was a pearl on the last one. 94. Maybe he won't go this way. Maybe he bursted two ways. Yeah, thought so. Two sixteens. That was a big leg to win for Coach Stumpy. Because that will hurt Webster. Webster was on the comeback trail, three legs on the spin, and Co Stompy has bounced back with a second, uh, with a seventh break of throw, and he's two legs away from the quarterfinals. Used the noddle there, used the noddle, and missed an earlier double 19. Thought when others would have rushed like a bull at a gate, didn't mean the pun. He just popped the easy one, then hit a double 16. That's pure experience. Knows this game isn't over, and this is beautiful. Exquisite dodge by the Dutch lad. 
fully focused. No complacency from Stompy. Webster's made sure of that with a bit of a resurgence. Three legs on the spin, remember? But uh, Stompy's playing well now. Looking to kill the game off. Two legs away. Remember, you have to win by two clear legs. First to 13, but that's a little bit slack. You think after all his years, Ronnie Baxter could chase the game better than he failed to do earlier. But after a little bit of a break for wind... 134. Uh, the Dutch Gallio seems to be nearing port. That was a brilliant last dart. Had only one point ahead the way it was flying. Ooh, interesting now if he gets another one. Still a chance of another one, Nige. Oh, oh good no, darts. No. Yeah, good darts from Webster. Stompy under a bit of pressure. Went for the ball to start with. Double ten for a brilliant finish. Now Webster, chance for another break of throw. Here we go then. To crank the fun and games on core. Once tops. Side lipstick. Well, in a foul, he's LB singing. Because their boy's bell is ringing. From Romney up to Denby. Sorry, 19th leg. Nice to see him smiling, Mark Webster. And he deserves it, because he's uh, shown that he's made of stern stuff. It looked a lost cause, but if he holds the throw here, he'll be within three legs of Co Stompy now. But uh, with that break of throw, it's no good if he can't follow it up by holding his throw here. Stompy has broken him seven times in this match. And he didn't get to and win the leg side final in 08. Why not beating some goodness? Simon Whitlock in the final. Absolutely. 96. Anderson in the other major final. Beautiful dart. Exquisite dart. Has to be in. Is he hit? 130. Use that better night. Really, a, that was a double lie. He'd have settled for that though before the three darts. And again, this is a prime 58. example of where Stompy could be about to undo the good work that Webster put in in the previous leg. Brilliant, brilliant. Got to watch the flight here. You're on the same path. 96. Here we go. Uh, 140 here. Really does. Oh. Brilliant. Magic stop by the Watchman. Here's the endeavor. Just the right time. Second of the match. Look at this from Stompy, though. Bullseye. Oh, Gate of an inch north. Game on now. He wants fat 16. Double tops to continue the comeback. Red bit. Oh. Oh. This game is well and truly alive. Webster believes. Game on. Ten three down. Ten three down he was. And forced mistake. Fifty nine. Like a Van Bommel tackle. Makes you wonder. Gigi's has got to calm down now. Though that was a snatchy dart. So was that. What a match. Ten. Sixty. Three down. The former world champ. He's won the last six legs. Five one. Stompy will be rattled, I'm sure. Needs to hold his throw yet. here. He knows that the game was there for the taking 20 minutes or so ago. And now it's his margin of error that is next to nothing around the 60. And now he's walking down there like a Welsh guard. Earlier, he was like a fullback tackled by a forward. And Co is showing. Signs of lack of shape. This could be a sensational run in Nige, and it 100. could be nearly what Sydney said 14 12. Webster's body language earlier in the match when he was uh, really struggling at 10 3 down 
He looked to beat man. He looked as though he wanted to go oh. home. But he's recovered superbly. And he's just giving Stompy some food for thought now. Two in the maximum bed, and that's a third 180. When he needs it is the point. When he needs it. 160. Raw double 12 for a killer. Oh, how close was that? What a match we've got. Now, if he can get this. Foot 14. Double top. 21. Oh, here we go, then. Got one leg away from the match. The Welshman's come back from 10 3. Green bits. Quarter past six. Big shot. Got him in the bed with the old Big shot, Sid, wasn't it? Just eases a little bit of pressure. What a match, though, here. Cole Stompy, one leg away from the quarterfinals. Is there more in the Webster attack? What an amazing night we're having here. Blackpool, night for the tournament. Jones beats local boy Baxter, 39. And in this one, well, in the last seven legs, the Welshman's won five. He About to get back underway for this game. Mark leg. Webster quite Mark simply has to hold his throw in this leg, otherwise it's game over. He was 10-3 down, but as Sid just said there, he's won five of the last seven legs. 100. Give him credit, it might be too little too late. Perhaps being punished for that early deficit. Stompy played superbly, and has got plenty 59. of time just to notch that last leg now. Has to win by two clear, remember. Up to the sixth leg, oh, Stompy was averaging over 100, and then 65% check out as well. He was going with beautiful control but also a certain flow that's a lovely dog there that's not so stomach just needs the one night absolutely and vincent van der Voort and james wade in the practice room 57 awaiting the outcome of this match that was poor from webster if stompy can hit a a big score here it could be over pretty quickly but Oh, it's back in the old back in Rusty's nice shot. Absolutely. Here we go. Ah. Well, it, it does. Well, he's former world champ. And it's nice Eight. said to win five out of seven when you have the, the ignominy of a 10 3 deficit. Brilliant last dart. Brilliant last dart. But the Welshman can pull the deficit 12 9. He navigates the next two to five darts accurately. It's going to be the next three because Stomach can go out. What about that from Webster at Bullseye to leave himself double 17? Stompy going for it here as well. Has to take this out to save the match. 10 double 12. Can't when get it then. For the match. First of three Dutchmen tonight. Once they're top of the shop. Double ten for the match. 42. Could have been all over by now. Mark required 12. Double six to save the match. Pressure on Webster. Gets it. Hanging on in there. Webster, 22nd there, call to Ruffers. It is Game a cross on. between an opera house, a dance hall, and the World Karaoke Championships. It's a northern broth of sporting drama. And me and Nigel Pearson privileged to be trying to give it the verbal. 96. Yep, thoroughly enjoyable match. 
He's been by oh. far the more consistent of the pair on the 60s. On Loggy. Will probably reply with a 140. Double 90 now, Travel 90 rather. 94. So excited, I'm getting me teeth in a twist now. Tunnel do Stompy here. He's going to switch down the board. Lovely travel, 17. Absolutely spot on. Wins this leg, 99. wins the match. Here we go then. Three to the Dutchman. Needs travels big time. Another one there would be handy. 96. How to get two. Call you require 170. Right. To put the first Dutchman of three plane a day through. Another red bit. Right, the Welshman Nige needs at least two big travels. Nice from Webster. Lovely. 125. Well, gives Call him a shot to the order for the match. For the match. 520. For the match. Bullseye! Oh, what a finish! What a way to finish! Brilliant showdown between these two. And Coastal P is the second player to reach the match play quarterfinals. Mark Webster retrieved some pride. But Coastal P is the man. He's into the last eight of the match play. Well, as we see, one happy Dutchman. Look how him in Barnabas was when he celebrated Saturday night.